retired director security bank of I'm, I'm retired sir <laughs> and also a counselor like you please so um like i said earlier we want to <clears throat> congratulate you for the peaceful demonstration that you have conducted today we were informed that you will be coming to present the petition to the governor but the three governors as we speak are currently meeting the imf and uh, in a meeting and there's nobody there. So the government has asked that I meet you and take the petition on his behalf and will accordingly respond to the petition. Thank you. All, all, all right, so the minority leader will respond. Okay. So first, let me say that I feel very disrespected as the leader of the opposition in parliament for a simple reason that we demanded to present a petition to the governor of the Central Bank of the Republic of Ghana, otherwise known as the Bank of Ghana. The governor has two deputies, namely Deputy 1 and Deputy 2. Unfortunately, he has decided to disrespect us, and his two deputies have also decided to disrespect us by not being here and to receive our petition. We never said we are going to present our petition to the head of security or someone responsible respect. for security, with all due respect. They have actually mismanaged the affairs of the central bank. They have mismanaged the affairs of monetary policy. Today, Ghana, our beloved country, is on 80 nails. You are not the one responsible, and we will not give you our petition. Let me also say that, in summary, this governor and this Bank of Ghana, led by Governor Addison, has unilaterally printed up to 80 billion Ghana cities in two years without recourse to parliament. Aside, they have unilaterally written off about 48 billion Ghana cities being government debt. Let me say that all of this was done without parliamentary, uh, parliamentary approval. But let the governor be aware that, in fact, printing of money is like an alcoholism. The good effect or the perceived good effect comes immediately. But the hangover comes after the party. Governor Addison printed money to finance the champagne lifestyle of this President Akufuado and Baumian lifestyle on an appetition budget. Today, our country is on eight nails. The Bank of Ghana we will not accept it. The Central Bank of Ghana today is bankrupt, technically. You are insolvent. You have a negative equity of 51, 55.1 billion Ghana cities and a loss one year of 60 billion Ghana cities. You have again projected to incur additional debt in the year 2023 and counting. We will not allow you going forward to disrespect us and mismanage the affairs of the people of Ghana. Your act, Bank of Ghana, has indeed pushed 850,000 Ghanaians down the poverty line. And we will hold you accountable, particularly the governor. We are demanding his exit. And now that he has decided to disrespect us, we will not present our petition. We will go and come back again. We will come back here again. And we will come back and demand to see him in person. The crowd you've seen is just the beginning. We will come back again. And I assure you, trust me, we will come back again. He should better come in here. If he thinks that the IMF is more important than the Parliament of Ghana, if he thinks that the IMF is more important than the people of Ghana, he's here because of the people of Ghana and not IMF. So let him deal with IMF, but we'll come after him. We will come after him. Until we see him, we are not stopping. This is just the beginning. A lot more will happen. So on that note, we mean no disrespect, but we thank you very much. But we'll be protesting again, and we hope that we will be meeting him. Until we see him, we will not stop occupying the Bank of Ghana. Africa, Africa.
And so th those are just live details now, uh, really stating quite clearly the minority's position that they will not submit the petition to these individuals and that they will return.